Joanna O'Brien, and this is a day in my life. This is Anne, but I call her mom. Hi, mom. Good morning, Joanna. Go get your brothers and your dad. Tell them breakfast is ready. Your father needs to go to the railroad to work. He's running late. My father, Patrick, works at a construct works constructing a railroad. My mother doesn't work. She stays at home with me. I help her around the house. I'm not allowed to go to school like my brothers. Mom says I will be a wife one day, and the sooner I prepare, the better. There's no need to go to school. See, my family isn't like most families out there. We're Irish. Unfortunately, we had to leave Ireland because of the fog. We used to eat potatoes every day and usually in every meal. Then one day, a mysterious fog came over our crops. The leaves on all our potato plants started to curl up and turn black. That's when everything got crazy and our lives changed forever. Without the potato crop, a lot of families like mine starved. Dad said it was because of the new locomotives that put electricity in the air. But mom says that it was God punishing us for our sins. Either way, we had to move and that's how we got here, New York. Hi, Dad. Mom says you're late for work. You better hurry. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. Dad is always really tired. He works hard to put food on the table for us. Oh wait, I have to go wake up Timmy. Joanna, you should have done that 20 minutes ago. You know better. Your brother's going to be late for school. Yes, sir. Timmy, it's time to wake up for school. No, I don't wanna. Timmy, you know you have to go to school and study hard so that you can be like dad one day and provide for your own family. Run along now. My big sister doesn't have to go to school. It's not fair. She's so lucky. I hate school. They always make fun of me. Mama tells me Catholic schools are the best, but they always push me and call me pot liquor. Me and my friend Peter run away from the mean kid. He's my best friend because he's from Ireland like me. Timmy, hurry up. It's time to go. OK, I'm coming. I'm Patrick. Right now, I'm still in school like Timmy. But next year, I'm going to work on the railroad with my dad. I'm a man, and one day I'll have a family of my own to provide for. Until then, I do as my father says. Most of my classmates do not have to start working after school. But since our family is poor, I need to help out as much as I can, whether I like it or not. Come on, Timmy, we gotta go. Did you get a chance to wash my coat, Joanna? Yeah, here it is. Love you, Mom. See you later tonight. Have a good day at school, boys. God bless. Joanna, please do the dishes now. I like helping mom around the house, but sometimes I get jealous of Pat and Timmy. They get to study all sorts of different things and make friends at school, and I don't know, I guess I just wish I had that sometimes. I can't help but feel like the boys are the favorites. After all, they're the ones who are gonna be the breadwinners, right? Either way, I don't think it's fair. But when I try to talk to mom about it, she sends me away and changes the subject. The famine was rough on my family, especially my wife, Anne. But it was tough for everyone. We all had to learn from it. I had to put a brave face for the sake of the children, and it was hard. Some days I didn't know how we would survive. We are not a rich family, but I've done what's necessary to keep us alive. I've been working on this railroad for the past seven months with little to show for it. Work is hard to come by for Irish men in this city, and I thank God for my job. When I was looking for a job, I heard railroad construction was a dangerous work. I was scared because I would hear a common expression among railroad workers saying, an Irish man was buried under every tie. I tried to do my job as careful as possible in order to return home to my family and a warm dinner. My dearest Patrick works so hard on the railroad. The least I can do for him is cook him dinner and iron his clothes, but I don't think he'll ever know how grateful I am for him and the sacrifices he makes for our family. I feel terrible for my children as well. They never got to grow up back home. Instead, they're faced with dirty looks and discrimination on the streets. Even our clothing is ridiculed. Patrick and the boys each only have one good suit, and Joanna and I have one good dress we save for church every Sunday. Not only did the famine force us into a new place, it took away our freedom when we got here. It is quite horrible how just because we are immigrants, people treat us very differently. I was born and raised in Ireland. Leaving my homeland was very difficult for me. 
I left behind my entire childhood and instead watched some of my closest friends and neighbors die before my very eyes. I had a lassie named Abigail, but unfortunately we were forced to separate when we left Ireland. To be honest, I'm not sure where she is anymore. I miss her. Instead of being back at our old home, my family and I are in this new place facing all this bigotry and hate. They hate us for coming to this country. Little do they know that we didn't choose to come here. We came here to survive death and starvation. At school, I learned that over 1.5 million Irish people fled from Ireland in search of the American dream. I remember the day when we were all on the ship known by most Irish as the coffin ship, waiting to land in New York. We were tired and seasick, but we were grateful to have the chance to pursue a better future in America. The moment we saw the Statue of Liberty, we all cried because we knew we were safe from the terrible famine back at home. I thank God for this opportunity, but every morning I wake up, I tell myself, this isn't home, it never will be. Papa says I was a baby when we moved here. I can't remember our old home in Ireland. Patrick says we couldn't grow food anymore. Mama told me stories about Ireland. She says springtime is beautiful. Everybody talks about the fun St. Patrick Parade. I'm sad I never got to see it, but my sister says that next year on St. Patrick's Day, we will have a big parade of our own. People here in the United States celebrate St. Patrick's Day too. At least they like one thing about us. I'm home, everyone. Welcome home, honey. How was your day? Pretty good day. Nobody died. Are the boys home yet? Yes, dear. They're just getting washed up. A typical Irish meal includes potatoes, of course. My favorite is something called coddle. It's very delicious. It consists of pork sausage, bacon, and potatoes. My favorite is box tea. That's a potato pancake. The sad thing is that sometimes we can't afford to buy enough food, so we ration what little we have. So very often we eat a lot of bread and soup. I don't mind. It would just be nice not to have to eat the same things every day. Everyone plays a different role here in the O'Brien household, and we all face different struggles. But at the end of the day, it's the fact that we're all together that really matters.